understand? Like I said, I'm psychic.
you see? But that's why... You see? Sorry. Uh, um. Sorry. Sorry. 
but that's why. See? You see? <laughs> like I said, I'm psychic. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite.
everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. Bastard.
you. Oh no!
um... Uh, um... That's good. I said I'm psychic. Okay. Um. Okay. You understand?
blue sea. Fuck. I just realized I was I was muted for the whole fucking thing. That was dumb. I'm not a very bright person. This episode, well, it has been a waste. We're, we're still progressing, so. <clears throat> F is for friends who do stuff together. U is for you and me. N is for anywhere or anytime at all down here in the deep blue sea. F is for fire that burns out. Okay, we're done. But doing things just for fun serves no purpose. There must be more to it. You wouldn't spend your valuable time doing something useless, would you? He can insist all he wants, but in the end, it doesn't even matter. But maybe there is a good reason, like getting into something and talking to people about it. So maybe... Relating to your friends. You know what's useful? It helps you give something to talk about with other people. Something to, to talk about? Like when you see something awesome on TV or some awesome game and you want to share it with someone. You stream it on Twitch to an audience of not that many people. You find other people who feel the same way and that's how you make friends. See? <laughs> it's like look of abject horror. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I was blind, but now I can see. What the hell? That kind of thing has plagued me for years. I've, I've tried making friends, but I would make a conversation with die after a few minutes. And now I finally found the answer. I need to study more games. More TV. Is that how it works? No, you don't need to study them. I'm so ashamed of myself. If there was a hole going somewhere around here, I'd totally go hide in it. If I let it get to me. I never saw the blind spot in my studies. I'm a complete embarrassment. I'm not even fit to be on the morals committee, let alone head it. I don't think it's really that big of a deal. Thank you, Professor Makoto. Professor, you've taught me the most valuable lesson. You've earned my respect and the title of Professor. Th that's going to make things super awkward. There's no need to be modest, Professor. I can't wait for your next lesson, and until then, I will strive to learn as much as I can on my own. Hmm. Well then, Professor, by your leave. Without wait, okay, well, I don't hate it, but sure. Alright, let's see. After we're done, I headed back to my room. Okay, now it's night time. Ah. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Fuck you, buddy. I'm gonna eat, get eaten by all the bed bugs. The third day here has already come to an end. Well, when will I? No, we. When are we gonna get out of here? I laid on my bed and stared at the ceiling, and before I knew it, I'd fallen into an uneasy sleep. Monokuma Theater. I wish GR1 was a faster game. The sequel, the JP dub is superior in general it is. Hey, Madeline Stanley, how's it going? I need an immediate... I need an immediate fast-acting pick-me-up. If it doesn't act now, it's the same as giving in to regret. What do you think guides the world? Speed, of course. That's why Formula One drivers are so popular. Any idiot, any idiot can accomplish something if they take it slow. Screenshot that and save it and leave it as your background and then you'll be inspired. Uh, Even a human piece of excrement could create a masterpiece if they spend their entire life on it. Someone who does things in a timely fashion is both wise and admirable. Straight is better than a cur- 
Straight is better than a curve or an angle. Freestyle is better than the backstroke or breaststroke. Drive through is better than sit down. A Sunday comic artist is smarter than a graphic. No, okay, well. Sunday comic art. Have you read newspaper con comics, Monokuma? This is very, uh. Uh. That, I, that, I find that to be suspect. What I'm saying is, speed is the gold standard of the standard world. You can't have my coffee, Monokuma. Fuck off. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! You know, nighttime and daytime Get are... ready to greet another beautiful day! They're really just concepts of human perception. Like... Ugh, another night of restless sleep. Day after day, I can feel the fatigue piling up. As soon as the thought had crossed my mind, bing bong, the sound of the doorbell forced its way into my room. I'm going to say, uh, no, lady, and do my own thing. All right, so I talked with, um, what's his face? Uh, Ishimaru. Let's see what the thing says about him. Let's see, ultimate moral compass, a skill, attentive influence. A student must be a studying professional. All right. So I don't know that much about him, but let's see what it says. Ultimate, okay. So it, so as you talk to them, you get more pages. All right. All right. Well, let's see. The, a fantastic morning, isn't it? T -t Taka? Hmm. Now then, if, you, if you'll if you pardon the interruption. Without waiting for a reply, Taka barged into my room. Bye. I don't think I'm, I can get at this so easily. I don't think I'm going to have it in the story. Okay, I, I had to. Yeah, I gave him the soldier from TF2's voice. Uh, let's see. Here we go. What's up, Taka? <laughs> no matter how intensely the stormy seas may batter me, I will not fail as long as my feet are firmly planted. You agree, right? Um, I'm not sure I understand. And if you can't do it alone, just find someone to support you, and you can support them back. That's how you can overcome any storm. By the way, Stanpai, uh, stick around for a bit so you can... There's zero evidence that Night Terror actually on the times he gives. Yeah. Yeah, because they're all blocked off, and you wouldn't know what time it is anyway. So it's just arbitrary. I meant, like, in general, nighttime and daytime are human perception. But, yeah. Yeah, Monokuma could be lying to us. Anyway, that's how you overcome any storm. Yeah, next time you do this, I'll give you more warnings. You can join me in Discord, and we'll do silly voices. Actually, I think Discord voice is open. There should be a link, but uh, if you're interested, let me know. Dots. I was thinking about it last night, and I, I decided we all need to really come together. And that was when I realized, every morning from now on, after the morning announcement, everyone should have breakfast together. Quiet down and listen. Okay, I mean, how else am I going to read this to the audience? Okay, he's gone now. That's all for now. I have to go let everyone else know the good news. Taka didn't even wait for a reply. He turned and left before I could say a thing. Well, I guess this part of the game is done for me. Leave the area? Yes. Now, the three times are how you increase report cards. You want to get import items from the net mono machine to speed up. Yeah. Yeah, I got a couple items, and it was really fun playing Gachapon. Uh... Okay, well, I guess I gotta go to the fucking dining hall now. Any dumb bullshit I can explore? What What is in here, anyway? Hope's Peak Academy. I don't have a reason to go to the school area. I should meet up with everyone in the dining hall. Alright, so it's kind of... Hey, Toko, what's up? Um, Toko? What? Oh, I was just wondering what you were doing here. You probably should head to the dining hall, right? I know. I just wanted to prepare myself mentally. I can't do this voice because I'm spitting out of my mouth. Oh, God. I have, like, seltzer and coffee ready to dehydrate me. Prepare herself. What is she talking about? 
I'm so, I'm so nervous. What's she so nervous about? All right, ah, shit. Okay. Oh God, the collision just slid me off. Never spend more than one coin. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. In the gacha pond. All right, uh, let's see. I'm going to talk to uh, uh, Ishimaru, but uh, who else should I talk to while I'm here? Listen to me. Okay, looks like everyone's here. So then let's begin our very first breakfast meeting. And then... Everyone, thank you for making time and your busy schedules to come together. Your busy schedules of not attending school. It's really more like college, actually. Only there's no alcohol. Give me a break. Let me time for this shit. You dragged me here. I know I already mentioned this earlier, but in order to get out of here, it is essential that we all cooperate with each other. And the first step is this breakfast meeting to allow us to become friends and build trust. No, you go to the gachapon and you get the balls. I love saying the word gachapon. It's such a fun word, gachapon. So from now on, let's all meet here in the dining hall every morning after the morning announcement. Now then, let's eat. You want to eat breakfast with other people? I've never done that before. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. You have the. Uh, Drew Von Awesome. Yeah, Taka probably went, Megan, I'm going to drag your salty ass down here. I'm probably going to talk to Leon next. Yeah, it's been a while for me, too. But more important. Uh, anyway, did anyone happen to come up with any clothes? Silence echoed throughout the dining hall. Seriously? Hey! Anything. It could be about how to get out or who's doing this. Nobody knows anything. Are you okay with this? You're going to die. Huh? Huh? Do you understand? No, I don't. If you cannot stop yourself from showing weakness in front of others, you will die. Oh, she means just generally. Okay, sure. What the hell? Tell you a freaking joke about that. <laughs> I'm not joking. Adaptability is survivability. Did I not say so? So you better hurry up and adapt to your new life here. What the hell is this? Have I gone completely insane? Adapt to my new life here? Do you have any idea what you're saying? What? Yeah, it sounds like the girl wants to live here. And hell, more power to her. But shit. shit. No way in hell am I living here. I'm getting out of here. I don't give a shit. <laughs> sure, feel free. Uh, uh, okay, so nobody has any clues? What the heck? I don't know who she is. Uh, no oh shit. I don't... See, this is why it helps to have more than one people. Uh, the order of people I feel I free time in case one on my first play. My Zono... Uh, Leon and Junko. Okay, I think I've only done uh, Ishimaru, and he was all like, Let's bathe together! One thing I can tell you is who's behind all of this. Someone who's totally weird and messed up. She's like the most normal, so it's hard to do her job. Why else would we trapped here in the first place? Hey, well, sure, it could be something like that, but right now, the actual clues... I, I, I keep giving him like a surfer voice, so I should probably just be like, Ugh, fuck you, Mom! Uh, voice. Um, um, I'm a little boy. Uh, What's up? Um, if you think about it in terms of people who really are abnormal or bizarre, because I don't have a voice for her yet, do you think maybe the person responsible for, for all this could be a certain murderous fiend? <laughs> Tichiro, do you have any idea who might be behind all this? Well, I can't be certain, but... Certainty is not a concern right now! I'll allow whatever remarks you may have! You know? Okay, well, have you guys heard of Genocide Jack? I hear he's a real cool cat, and he lives on top of Manhattan Chase. You mean that serial killer that's been in the news and all over the internet that we just heard of now? The monstrous villain who's murdered scores of victims in brutally bizarre fashion. The word bloodlust was left at each murder scene, written in the victim's own blood. Whoever it is, he's like a ghost. He strikes without warning and disappears without a trace, and on the internet they started calling him... Genocide, oh, Genocide Jack. That about covers it, I think. All right. They say he's claimed over a thousand victims. That's just an urban legend. I mean, even like 10 people would be totally insane. Manly Stanley, who is in the chat right now and does a weekly uh, stream called uh, Voice Actor, no, sorry, Voice Over Theater, 
where like he just voices different characters and like there's just five there and i have to say this is just gonna run automatically because me doing voices is way less interesting than uh, you know plugging you is that like the funny thing and one thing i love you, you you do with that is like sometimes the characters accidentally talk over each other and it feels like normal i guess and plus i, I have to give kudos to your hank hill he was kind of shaky at first but really came through in the end But like I said, I can't be certain about Manly Stanley's voice acting thing. Hey, so, so basically, they've just been talking about Genocide Jack for the past couple of minutes. Yeah. Everything is absolutely perfectly, positively, 100% without a doubt. Gonna be okay. Because help's gonna be here soon. Hey. I'm sure of it. <laughs> help? I mean... We've been stuck in here a few days already, right? Nobody's been able to contact us, so I'm sure they're getting worried. I bet they call the police already. She seems like the girl that's going to live to the end of the horror movie. Either that or she's going to die first. What's this? The police? You're putting your faith in the police? Yeah, fuck the police. Bastard. What are you doing here? Seriously, did you understand the role the police exist to fill? Yeah, to protect the interests of the wealthy. All they're good for is being a foil, playing against a villain or anti-hero or evil organization. Oh, Monokuma. First your Sunday comic strip and now the police. You... Mm -mm. The bad guys come along and destroy them and that just shows how badass they really are. Are you sure you want to rely on such an unreliable group of losers? I mean, come on! If you really, really want to get out of here, all you gotta do is kill! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> you know? I'm just impressed with the total commitment to this whole act. <laughs> Character voice theater. Oh shit, I fucked it up. I'm it's very late and kind of sleepy. Sorry about that. Is still going out about that? You're fucking dead. Mr. Serious, I could kill a freak bastard. What the hell do you want? Huh? Mr. Serious, killer like a freak bastard, huh? That's a pretty long name. German, maybe? Hey, come on. We know who you really are. I'm just gonna give him, like, kind of a soft voice, because it's funny like that. Maybe if I ignore him, he'll just go away. You son of a bitch. Hey, don't ignore me, asshole. Okay, okay, let's get back to business. Your life here has already begun and a couple days have gone by, and nobody's killing anybody. I thought all you kids were lazy and selfish, and here you are working together. But I'm totally bored! There's nothing you can say that'll make us start killing each other. I got it! Wait, I think, yes, ding, 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 I figured it out! All the mystery ingredients are here. Right people, right place. So why hasn't anyone killed anyone yet? That's what I couldn't understand. But I just realized there was one very important piece missing. What are you? If you want to tell, if you want to know, I'll tell you. It's motive. <sighs> it's so simple. I just have to give everyone a motive. Well. Freedom is kind of the motive, but sure. Stop fucking around. Motive? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> hey, um... Oh, by the way, there's something I want to show you guys. Stop changing the gosh darn subject. Hmm. I have a little video I'd like you all to see. Oh, but don't worry. It's not some pervy adult video or anything. Seriously, it's nothing like that. So, this, this, Twitch, this stream is safe. Fuck you. It's a special video for each of you showing what's going on outside the school. O outside the school? What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, Master's so impatient today. Why don't you just watch it and find out? Here in the school, there's a specific place you can go that has everything you need to watch the video. The AV room. Oh, God. Monica, will please shut the fuck up. This is Correct. Good. We can watch it now. Before we do that, I'd like to know, what are you? Why would you do something like this? What do you want from us? What do I want from you? Well, if you must know. Just there. That 
that's all. Well now. If you want to know more than that, you'll have to figure it out for yourselves. Uh, so, Monokuma's plan is basically he's going to harvest all the despair and then launch it in, launch us into the future past. Hmm. Do whatever you need to uncover the mystery hidden within this school. I won't try and stop you, because to be honest, it's entertaining as heck watching you guys search so desperately for answers. <laughs> so I guess I want amusement from you too. Manly Stanley, thank you so much for the follow. He's gone. And once again, he left before we could find out anything useful. Really, I think we learned something very useful. He has no intention in standing in the way of our pursuit of truth. Interesting. Perhaps, but what about the video he mentioned? I'm very curious to see what's on it. Same here. Okay, so. Mondo started glancing around, but when his gaze landed on me, he stopped. Hey, Makoto, check this out for us, would you? Why me? Because you're closest to the door. That's the rule, right? R rule? Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Piece of shit. Hey. Stop fucking around. You see how passionately I'm begging you? What's the big deal? Just check it out real quick. Okay, Hell I'll yeah. guess I'll get going then. Thanks. I owe you one. Hey, um... If Makoto's going, I'm going with him. It's not safe to walk around this place alone. Yo. Yeah, sure thing. Then we're counting on the both of you. I'm Mondo. I'm a sweet biker gang leader. If anything comes, just yell, and I'll come a run in. Um. I can't decide if Mato is totally dependable or completely terrible. Yeah, I'd have to say he's kind of both. He's not exactly a bad person, but I definitely can't say he's a good person either. So then where's the specific place Monokuma mentioned? It's the AV room. It must be somewhere you can watch DVDs, but it's the AV room. It's a place set up to watch DVDs, then it's the AV room. Hallway, uh, no. Uh, let's see. Hope speak first floor. Where was it? Shit. Yep, AV room. Oh, come on. Okay, go. Alright, let's see what we got here. I'm actually supposed to go around. So let's see. Come on. It's not the fuck that I missed the door. Okay, there we are. Oh, thank you, Monokuma, for shutting your fucking pie hole for 20 minutes. So I can, let's see. Let me just scroll down to the chat. Yeah, Mondo is a big card. But the closest to the door thing is legit. That's such a legitimate rule. Mondo is a big hearted liquid. Yeah. If you should, if you saw my playthrough of uh, 2064 Read Only Memories, you'll know I kind of have a soft spot for uh, uh, big hearted delinquents. So let's open the, the box. What's in the box? There's something inside this cardboard box. It's... A bunch of DVDs, and each one has a label on it with someone's name. This must be the video for each of us he mentioned. I better go tell everyone. Just ran off. I didn't follow after her. I just stood there right where I was. The DVDs in front of me have robbed me of all awareness. I was rooted in place. I think I see something. One of my DVDs, right? It's a cardboard box of DVDs. Right okay, I think I see something. Hold on. Next to the monitor is a high-end player. I'll probably play these DVDs no problem. Maybe I'll just watch mine real quick. Then I slid into the expensive looking player. I sat down and stared intently at the darkened screen and then... I have expectations about this. I yelled out without realizing it and my heart started racing. Because what I saw on that monitor, it was my family. You getting picked to attend Hope's Peak Academy is like a dream come true. Make sure you do your best. I can see the family resemblance. I'm so proud of you, son. But remember, don't push yourself too hard. Are you really watching us, Makoto? Good luck, okay? If it had ended there, it would have been fine. A l message of love and support. After leaving my family behind to attend Hope's Peak, it would have given me hope, given me strength. If this was a normal school, I would have been happy, if a little embarrassed. With my family's support to rely on, I would have been motivated to do even better. But here now, it was totally different. I wasn't living an ordinary school life, so I had a pretty strong feeling that the video wasn't going to end there. Oh god, I feel like there's going to be a jump scare in a second, but we'll, we'll go through with it. I hated having that feeling, but it turned out I was absolutely right.
This time I couldn't even make a sound. My voice just died. W where'd everyone go? It looks like a war zone or something. As if, as if in reply, a voice came floating out of the speakers. I recognized the voice, of course, was him. Oh boy. Alright, let's see here. Um where was I? Yeah. Seems like something's happened to this family's well being. Oh boy, this is bad. What could have possibly happened to this family's well being? Look for the answer after graduation. That What is this? What happened to everyone? I started trembling. I could feel the fear and anger building up inside me like hot magma. God damn it! I slammed my fist against the desk over and over again. A single thought was racing through my mind. What else? How could I think about anything else? I have to get out of here. I have to get out right now. I need to make sure everyone's safe. Makoto, what happened? Make sure who's safe. I noticed everyone standing around the entrance to the AV room. They stared at me, faces full of confusion. I'm, like, 99% certain that Monokuma, in some respect, is lying. <laughs> that couch is way 2013. <laughs> What's going on? Without a word, I pointed to the cardboard box. Is that what Monokuma was talking about? What's all of them? They all gathered around the box, and each one of them grabbed the DVD with their name on it. One by one, they each rushed to a monitor. It didn't take long for them to react. What the, what the fuck? This can't be real, right? It has to be fake, right? No way it's real. <laughs> no way. I can't take it anymore. I can't take this anymore. Let me out of here. As soon as I saw the reactions, I knew. They'd all seen something like what I'd seen. Nobody even bothered trying to hide their fear and confusion. Except for her. Even now, she was totally calm. I see. So this is what he meant by motive. He wants to fuel our desire to leave so that we're more likely to start killing each other. It is a classic prisoner's dilemma. Hmm? What? Hmm. Let me use an example. Imagine two countries are on the brink of war, but both countries want peace, and each commits to scaling back their forces as a sign of good faith. But there's a slum in the German here. There's a chance that one country may betray the other, so that each country fears lowering their guard. The result is that neither scales back their forces, and they both end up betraying each other. Do you understand? In other words, the fear of invisible treachery becomes the greatest enemy of stability. <laughs> that kind of sounds like us right now. You know, if like all their... Mm, I, I mean, I'll speculate later. But everyone says they'll work together, but in our hearts, we're all afraid someone might betray us. Oh. Don't put those awful thoughts in our head! That's exactly what they want us to do! You can say that, but maybe you're thinking that once everyone drops their guard, you can just... What? This is exactly what Monokuma or whatever's behind this wants. They want us to fight, don't you see? Yeah, you're right. We all need to calm down. Okay, then. Maybe we should start by all just talking. Maybe if we all just talk about what we saw, that'll help get everything out of our system. Besides, I think we're all super curious, right? Shit, I had a voice for her, but I don't want to stop now. I wonder what was in everyone's videos. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't curious. Hey, Siaka. What was in your video, Siaka? What's your problem? Wrong, just hurry up and tell us. Sayaka? I gently placed my hand on her shoulder. Stop it! And then she ran off. She pushed my hand away and suddenly ran off. Sayaka! That's enough. Let her go. I can't do that. I have to go make sure she's okay. <laughs> I hate romantic comedies like this. I don't care what ha happens to her. P -p personally What? That's because they're totally thoughtless. I just realized I sound like a valley girl now. Um... I'm really worried. <sighs> Since why don't you just go do whatever you think you have to do? We all have to we don't all have to stick together, right? I hope you are well. Speaking of which, I have my own things to take care of. Goodbye. Everyone went their separate ways, but I don't have time to worry about them right now. I have to go find Sayaka. All right, so. Hey, buddy. What was in your video, Hifumi? Uh, so it's 
Before you go asking someone else, it's only polite to say what you saw first, don't you think? Well, I, why are you covering your ears? Yes, if I don't hear yours, I don't have to say mine. It's the art of see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. I don't think that's how it works. Alright, uh, Ishimaru, I'm gonna go with him. <sighs> Alright, let me just take a sip, because I gotta do his voice. What was in your video? I saw! Sorry, it's gonna take me some time to figure out how to put it into words. Put it into words yet? Ah, shit. Alright, well... Hey, Makoto, these videos are some kind of hoax, right? Right? I want to think so, but... What the heck, man? This is all one big lie. It has to be. Ha 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 I noticed how you didn't say what was in your video if it was such a... Whatever. What should I do? Junko should always sound like a valley girl. Yeah. Oh, no, that's like... like Once I started, like, yep, that's her voice. Everyone's really upset. I mean, how could anyone be calm right now? What, how can even someone like that just exist? I, I don't understand. I, I do, to be able to do something like that? Is it because they really are the murderous fiends? Gentleman Jack, who lives in a shack. I mean, lives on... Whatever. It's a reference to David Bowie's Diamond Dogs. What was in your video, Sakura? I'm sorry. My family. But I'm not upset by what I saw. If you're overpowered, you must accept your death. That is the way of my family. Yeah, I think they all kind of saw the same things. Like, hey, here's your loving family telling you how much they love you. What? Oh, it appears something bad has happened to them. Damn. But I still refuse to believe they would lose so easily. How? My dad was Sagat, and my mom was Akuma. <laughs> what was in your video, Kyoko? Wow. Why should I tell you? Alright, well, fine. I'm gonna, no, shit. Okay. Leave the area? Yeah, I'll leave the area. Where could she have gone? She couldn't have gone far. I should check around the school. I love the neon lighting pattern here at this school. Nope, door won't budge. Must be locked. Okay. I love how they set up the rooms like this. Oh, sweet. I found her in one corner of an empty classroom. She was sitting in a chair, hands on her knees, staring absently at the floor. She looked like maybe she was upset or angrier. No, she didn't have any expression at all. There was nothing on her face that you could call emotion. It was as if her original mask had been stripped away. Sayaka, are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Actually, no. How could I possibly be fine? What did we do to end up like this? Why are they doing such terrible things to us? I want out. Let me out of here right now. Sayaka, calm down. As she thrashed around, I grabbed her by the shoulders. Exclamation point. But now more than ever, we have to stay calm. This is exactly what they want. They want us to lose our composure and stop thinking rationally. Think about it. Those videos have to be fake. Because if those things had really happened, people out there would be in an uproar. Our families, the police, everyone. Right? So let's just calm down, okay? Otherwise, we've already lost. I knew I was trying to convince myself just as much as her. I kept repeating those words to myself to clear away the images that had been burned in my brain. Be calm, okay? Just be calm. As long as we work together, I'm sure we can find some way out of here, and help might even come before that. But what if there isn't a way out? What if help never comes? If that happens, then I'll get you out of here myself, no matter what it takes. When I said that, I paused. I had no idea what came over me. Sayaka? Please, help me. Her voice was small and shaky. Why? Why is this happening to me? To kill or be killed? I just can't take this anymore. Sayaka. <laughs> I just saw your comment, uh, Stanley, please uh, add quote that. I think th th I have to have an ad quote function. <laughs> Finally, she raised her face up to my chest. She looked at me with those big, wet eyes of hers. Makoto. Can I believe what you said? Huh? 
that you'll help me get out? No matter what it takes? Absolutely. You're the only one I can trust, so please. Okay, either completely void. Oh god, that. See, like, here's the thing: is that you know, my intention was to do each of these things in like little bursts and, um, like do a chapter thing. But because there's a lot of dialogue, because I'm speaking a lot, it's taking a really, it's taking way longer than something like 2064 Read Only Memories did. But like, I but like every other, I don't know, every few lines of voice actors when I do it like this, it just throws off my rhythm a bit. That's like my only beef with the game so far. Of course I'll be there for you. No matter what, I'm always on your side. I mean... You are my assistant, after all. Makoto. Thank you, Makoto. Hearing you say that, I feel like I can keep going. I, I can get through this, as long as you're here with me. I'm your assistant. Like you said, I'm your assistant. The smile I'd come to know so well returned to her face. I feel a little forced, but still, it's a huge improvement over how she felt before. Hey, hey. It's standing up! Makoto, it's standing up! What's standing up? Come on. Do you even have to ask? Your flagpole! AKA Erection. Get the hell out of here. Just a minute. No, 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 no! I want to join in. Damn it! Well, if you won't leave, then tell us what the hell's up with those videos. Uh, it's, it's about to come out. It's gonna come out by pristine, pure, white stuffing. My honest, innocent stuffing is about to come gushing out. I balled at my fist, took aim, and swung as hard as it could. I had never put so much energy into a single motion before in my life. My brother just shouted, fuck this, from the back of my thing. I was like, that threw me off a little bit. I leaned back, channeling all my power, and let go with everything I had. Gua! Are you okay? If I haven't avoided your punch, you would have just violated school regulations. But boy, you are slow, 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 slow! I could have down a th I could have down a thousand dollar full course dinner in the time it took you to finish your swing. Your speed, agility, alertness, passion, boldness, sense of affair, antagonization, it's all lacking. Um. What was that? He just wanted to mess with us. Um. Well, for now, you just want to head back? Yeah. It was like th this tender little moment where like, hey, you know, th the game is they're trying to create despair. And then Monokuma comes out like, yo, my homeboy's dick is hard. You should get some rest. So she's going back to lay down. It's still daytime. She disappears into her room. I'm just not From now on, I'm headed off to tell everyone that Sayaki yeah, was okay. Once that was done, I decided to go back to my room. I started to think that after watching that deranged video... I needed some time to rest on my own. Jeez. Seriously, what is going on here? There's, there's just so many problems. I can't even decide what the biggest problem is. That we're trapped in here? That what I saw in the video might be real? Monokuma? What the mastermind has in store for us? Or are we our biggest problem? I want to get out of here. But I can never kill someone. Do all the others feel the same? Yeah, that's definitely the biggest problem right now. Bing bong. Huh? When I opened my eyes, they darted immediately to the clock. It's almost 10 o'clock. I fell asleep without even realizing it. Nighttime's about to start. So how come someone's here? I'm, I'm really sorry to come by so late. Sayaka? No, I can't just leave and ignore Sayaka. Dang. Sayaka, what are you doing out so late? Th that's when I noticed. Her body was trembling. Is everything okay? It was so strange. Sorry to bother you, but something really weird just happened. Something weird? 
It's just a little while ago, I was laying down in my room, and all of a sudden my door started rattling and shaking. Her voice sounded like all the air had been squeezed out of her lungs. Just hearing her talk made me tense up. It was like someone was trying to force the door open. My door was locked so they couldn't get in, of course, but they started shaking the door harder and harder. I was so scared I couldn't move. So what happened? After a while, it just stopped. I let some time go by, then I got upside and opened up the door to check outside, but there was nobody there. Someone tried to force their way into your room? But who would do something like that? I mean... It's not like I'm suspicious of anyone here, but still, it made me nervous. What if something like that happened in the middle of the night? What would I do then? You don't have to worry about that, right? I mean, we can't go outside during nighttime. But... But it's just a promise we made, right? If someone decided to break that promise, th then... Why don't you stay in... Why don't you stay in your room tonight? Would that make you feel a little better? Oh, stay in my room tonight. Okay, I misread that. I'm sorry. What? It all said in the school regulations that we had to sleep in the dorm rooms, right? It didn't state specifically which room each person had to sleep in, so... But, but two people sharing one room is, you know... You know... Ah! Jeez, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't even think about that. Honestly, that didn't even cross my mind. No, no, I know. Me either. It's just... Not that I had the idea, but... Um, if you don't mind, maybe, could we maybe switch rooms just for tonight? Switch rooms? If it'll help put your mind at ease, then it, it's totally fine with me. But I don't mind you staying... But I don't mind you staying in my room, but... Are you sure you're okay with me staying in yours? That doesn't, like, concern you? <laughs> it's fine. I trust you. In that case, then... Bing bong. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Oh, shit. I can't actually like that out of the game. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay, then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Oh, man, it's already nighttime. Okay, so it's settled. I'll let you your room right now. If we're going to trade rooms, we better trade keys, too. That's right. We'll have to trade keys. Again? Like I said, I'm psychic. Huh? Hey, you aren't gonna, gonna say you were kidding. <laughs> what if I wasn't just kidding? Something resembling a smile had made its way to her face. Thank goodness. It looks like she already started to get back to normal. Alright, we better trade keys okay. then. Yeah, let's do it! We exchanged keys, and when I looked back up at her again... There was another worried expression there. Makoto, please be careful. If someone comes to the door, don't open it no matter what. I won't. The same goes for you, Sayaka. No matter what it is, don't open your door for anyone. <laughs> even if I'm sure it's you, I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point of even switching? Oh, by the way, just so you know, my bathroom door tends to get stuck. There's a little trick to opening it. You have to turn the knob, then lift up on the door while you pull out. Pulling out, a. Eh? Just do that and the door should open, no problem. Okay, but the showers don't work during nighttime anyway, right? Oh yeah, that's right, I totally forgot. But I guess I might use it when I get up in the morning, so thank you. Okay, well I better get going. See you tomorrow, Siaka. Hey, um... Oh, and about what I said before? Hmm? When I said it was psychic, it really was just a joke. Honestly, I'm just very perceptive. Yeah, I know. Good night then. See you in the morning. Sayaki gave me one last parting smile. Then I headed off to my room. I looked around as soon as I got into the hall. Everyone else's doors were closed. There was no sign of life. Good. There's nobody here. Making sure nobody was around to spot me, I rushed into Sayaka's room. So this is Sayaka's room. It really doesn't look any different from mine. It smells nice though. Trash. It's kind of weird to dig through other people's trash, but I couldn't help taking a quick peek. That's 
There wasn't any doubt about it. It was a DVD with her name on it that we found in the AV room. That reminds me, I never did get a chance to find out uh, what was in her video, but I'll probably wait until she brings it up again. Alright, let's see what else we got here. Okay. If I remember right, all the girls' private bathrooms have locks on them. I'm a little reluctant to go in. Alright, well. It's kind of weird to dig through other people's trash. Yeah, okay, so it's, so I didn't find anything new. Alright. The bed itself looks exactly the same, but only Sakiyaka slept on it. Made me look forward to trying out it for myself. Nice. Right, let's go to the right. Okay, here we go. My room came with a toolkit, but Sayaka has a sewing kit, just like the note said. And next to this is the map of the body's vital organs. I don't think Sayaka would like me snooping around too much. I should probably go to bed soon. As I lowered myself onto Sayaka's bed, a pleasant fragrance enveloped me. Sayaka's scent. Maybe it'll bring me some sweet dreams. That's normal. Feeling a little better than before I fell asleep. Alright, hold on. Monokuma Theater, everybody. Okay. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Imagine you're all in a big spaceship in the middle of an intergalactic adventure. You've all heard of Noah's Ark, right? We're like so. We're sort of like that. You set sail and left Earth behind. Here, you don't have to worry about crazy neighbors, corrupt cops, drunk drivers, or pyromaniacs. Hmm. You don't have to worry about the ozone layer or asthma-inducing air pollution. And, of course, you don't have to stress about studying for finals or practicing for the big game. But even our divine world of freedom has a few rules. After all, freedom can only exist because of rules. If, you've really, if you're really dead set on returning to that tiny piece of dog poop you call Earth, please do your best to follow the rules. I hope I've made myself so perfectly here. Monokuma sounded like very, the, the way he said it made it sound way more sarcastic, like, let's follow these new guidelines. Bing bong, ding dong. Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Get ready to greet another beautiful day! <sighs> I sat up still half asleep and rubbed my eyes. Slowly, I pulled myself out of bed. I remembered I was in Siaka's room. I just remembered. I promised to eat breakfast with everyone else. I better get going. I left Siaka's room and made my way toward the dining hall. Like, the way that the table just kind of falls before it's slumming, that's that's a nice little touch. Like, that and Hearthstone are, like, my favorite, is, like, just a composition of my favorite little things. A few people had already gathered by the time I got there. <laughs> Hello, Makoto, and good morning. Can you believe it? I was the very first one here this morning. <laughs> yeah, good morning. Hey, Makoto. Morning. <laughs> I suppose I'm early. I figured everyone who would arrive on time could be considered model, model, high, blah, model high schoolers and the ones who showed up a little late. Yo. So? Yo. Sorry I'm late. My makeup would just not cooperate this morning. Ah, well, hello. My apologies, ladies and gentlemen. My morning uh, duty took a little bit longer than usual. What morning duty? With the types of the more relaxed at the time. Most high schoolers fall in this category. And finally, the ones who kept everyone waiting forever. Indeed. I suppose I'm late. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. My bad, my bad. That's my alarm. Your what? It's so awful to be. Is yep. it so? I didn't oversee. Just so you know. Nope, got lost. I blame the Bermuda Triangle. Don't care about time or other people in general. They kind of move at their own pace. But regardless, everyone had arrived. At least that's how it was supposed to go. Wait! 
Aren't we still missing some people? Yeah, Sakeyaka and Bayakuya aren't here yet. I don't know about Bia Bayakuya, but I would definitely put Sak Sayaka in the model high schooler category. I'm sorry, Japanese names are kind of a sticking point for me. So for her to be so late... What? What's going on? Did something happen? Yo. Hey man, have you seen Sayaka? <laughs> well, what? Why would I have? I just came straight from my room to here. Um, Did she forget about our breakfast promise? However, I got the sense she always has her stuff together. Listening to everyone talk like that, a small dark speck of unease rose up inside of me. And that speck started to grow quickly. Oh, that music kicked in way too early, but I know something bad's gonna happen. I need to go. I have to check on her. The words had barely left my lips before I flew out of the hall. Where I headed first was... My room, where I let Sayaka stay for a single night. Where was she supposed to be safe? Where she was supposed to be safe. But over the course of that one night, the room had been completely transformed. W what the hell? There's a keychain on the ground, and it has my name on it, so this must be my key. I gave it to Sayaka when we traded rooms. This is a replica sword I brought back for self defense. It's been taken out of its sheath. More importantly, where's Sayaka? My lint roller! More importantly, where's Sayaka? No, I'm gonna look at the garbage. This is a replica sword. Its sheath is a replica sword. The sword itself has been removed. More importantly, where's Sayaka? The display stand the sword was on. More importantly, where's Sayaka? This is kind of fun, actually. Like ignoring someone just died. There's slashes and gouges on the walls and floor. But most importantly, where's Sayaka? <laughs> I better check the bathroom. Let's take a look inside. Oh, God. It took me a second to realize I was screaming. What I saw dug its way through my eyes and buried itself in my brain. And then, and then, everything went black. Chapter one, to survive daily life, deadly life. Okay, so is this like a transition? This is kind of cool. When I opened my eyes, I found myself staring at a huge ceiling. It was a ceiling I remembered seeing before. And when I sat up, I saw someone looking at me. Again, it was someone I'd seen before. Ah, you're awake. Finally, are you okay? Now's the time for sleeping. Get your ass up. H huh? Uh, um... You're unconscious, dude. I had to carry you back here. Well. It's no surprise, considering what happened. What happened? G Gra! Um... Hey, are you okay? So it wasn't a dream. What I saw was real? Hmm. That's right. It really did happen. Sayaka is dead. A deep, dark despair worked its way through my body and then exploded out of me. I shot up and took off running. Hey, where do you think you're going? I have to see for myself. I have to see if Sayaka is... If Sayaka is... You can just... You can check once, twice, a thousand times. Sayaka is completely and irrevocably... Dead. No! I have to see for myself. Okay. Daily life is being sued and sadly life is after a murder. Okay. Right. You can also join the Discord if you want to join in on chat. Of course, I have the patrons, but I can probably hook you up with a special role. Well, what good is it doing just sitting around here? I mean, why are we all hanging out at the gym at a time like this? I mean, I mean, why are we all hanging out in the gym at a time like this? Our friend Sayaka, she's, she's dead. Dead. When I said that, it finally hit me. I realized she really was gone. Calm down. None of us want to be right here now either. And why? Shouldn't it be obvious? M Monokuma, he told us all to come here. Well, hold on. Don't talk like that. We all protested it. I mean, we remember the terrible price Sayaka had to pay. But so... I'm the one who convinced them to come. Right now, we need to do whatever he says. We're his prisoners, right? It's not a good idea to defy him without reason. We don't need to make any more sacrifices than we already have. Why should we listen to anything he has to say? It's obvious he's the one who killed Sayaka. Wrong. 
I would never do that. If you can believe anything, you can believe that. <laughs> He's here again. Hey, um... Unless someone violates the school regulation, I absolutely will not interfere. I can promise you, I won't do anything that goes against the purpose of your school life here. I'm famous at safari parks throughout the world for following the Bear Times One rule. Then who did it? Who killed her? Come on. You already know the answer. The one who killed her is one of you. Nobody had a reply for that. One of us killed Sayaka? Don't be stupid. That's... What? Huh, what's the matter? You guys all look like you're about to see a dove get shot up with a Gatling gun. What does that even mean? Don't you remember what I told you when this all began? One of you decided to kill Sayaka so that you could graduate. Someone's just following the rules. There's nothing wrong with that. Well. You're lying, right? Of course he's lying. I'm telling you, he killed her. Wrong. Nope, sorry. One of you is now a bona fide killer. If they wanted to, the one who did it could testify to that little fact. What? Without thinking, I looked around at everyone. They all had the same look on their faces. Everyone looked at each other with a combination of fear, suspicion, and confusion. Fear, suspicion, and confusion. <laughs> oh, hey, stand by. What's up? Uh, let's see. Um, let's see. Actually, let me just give you this. Yeah. So everyone looked at each other with a combination of fear, suspicion, and confusion. Are you serious? What, what is this? S -s someone, someone killed someone. <laughs> it is amazing what people are capable of. Uh, just hold on. Hey, hold on. Don't just assume he's telling the Stop truth. Talking. That's enough. Before we do anything else, I'd like to confirm something with the stuffed animal here. If one of us really did kill her, that person gets to graduate from the school, right? Huh? Come on. Don't play dumb. That's what you said, isn't it? If you kill someone, you get to leave. Let's see here. Um, let me just fucking... Okay, there, that, and that. Okay, cool. I'm not doing that in his voice. That's good. Yep. Okay, good. His voice, he did it. It's cause... Naive. You're just so naive. You really think it's that easy? You can just kill someone and waltz on out of here? You're super naive, devilishly naive, hellishly naive. No, 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 the real thing has just begun. The real thing? Are you ready? Uh, allow me to explain the second part of the rule regarding graduation. Just like I explained before, you must kill someone if you want to leave. However, even if you do that, there's still one more part of the agreement you have to uphold, remember? You are referring to rule number six of the school regulations. Oh, God. Monokuma just takes so much out of me, but I love doing his voice. If you are the blackened that committed the murder, you can't be found out by the other students. That is what you are talking about, is it not? In other words... Bingo! It's not enough to just kill someone. You have to actually get away with it. Which naturally means you need a system in place to assess whether or not it has been gotten away with. Yippee! So a certain amount of time after a murder has taken place, a class trial will begin. A class trial? Yep, it'll begin a few hours after the murder. Everyone will gather together, including the blackened who committed the murder. They and the spotless students will all engage in one big debate showdown! your arguments about who you think the blackened is. And once everything comes to an end, the outcome will be decided by popular vote. If the answer you've arrived at is correct, only the one that disturbed your peace will be punished. The rest may continue their communal life. However, if you choose poorly, then the one who got away with murder will survive, and the rest of you will receive your punishment. Which of course means your school life will come to an end. As far as class trial rules go, 
That's all there is to it. Oh, okay, that's cool. Well. So what exactly is this punishment you keep talking about? Gee, I think someone in chat posted, uh, someone in chat recently uploaded a video that shows the top 10 worst uh, executions in the series. I don't know. Well, to put it simply, it's execution! Execution? Yes. What? And by execution, you mean <laughs> being executed. Execution is execution. Execution. Uh, I'm sorry. I I missed that just a little bit. Could you uh, repeat it again? I kind of like how that beat goes, like, turn apart like a paper plane in a hurricane. I'm, I'm stealing that line for a future song, by the way. If we get the culprit right, then only they die. But if we get it wrong, the rest of us get executed? What a smart little chimpanzee you are. Look at you implying you didn't do it without actually saying it. So basically... It's what the outside world calls a lay judge system, or an inquisition type thing. Which means you'll be deciding who you think the killer is. But judge carefully, because all your lives are on the line. Like a paper plane in a hurricane. I'm taking a break from Akuma for a bit. The new rule has been added to the regulations menu. Hey! Wait just a second. You're freaking insane, you know that? A class child? What the hell is that? I don't want anything to do with that. Why not? What do you mean why not? Why do I have to waste my time trying to figure out who murdered someone? This is stupid. You're stupid, Monokuma. I'm not finishing out writing the last bits of the thing on a piece of paper so I can... Uh, to distract the stream long enough to continue this conversation. What the hell are you but, talking about? I'm, okay, yeah, so I completely missed that. But basically, hey, you're getting punished. And she's all like, no, I don't know. You're the one being selfish. Kill whoever you want. It's got nothing to do with me, except me. Don't kill me. That would really suck if you killed me. Just don't kill me, okay? Don't kill me. I swear to fucking God. The evil standing before me. I'm trembling with fear. But I won't give in to such evil. It's my style to stick it out and resist till the very end. If you really want to get out of here, you'll have to go through me first. As he said that, he came charging at us, although it was more of a waddle. But then... Are you enjoying yourself now? Are you? against Headmaster Monokuma is not allowed. You violated a school regulation. Self-defense, self-defense, stand your ground. I invoke the mighty summon spell. Help to me, godly spear, Gunnier. Um, what? What? <laughs> this wasn't supposed to fly me. Suddenly, right at the end, her eyes shot wide open. And just like that, she never moved again. No way! What, what, what the? I don't... This can't be real. No way! Well, now. now, I am painfully aware of the great power and meaning of a promise... I really wanted to keep a crush from popping up for no good reason, you know. But I guess you all needed to be taught a lesson, after all. <sighs> what an amazing promise. But now you guys understand, right? Now you see just how serious I am. Defy me and you get shot full of holes, exploded, buried alive, disintegrated, etc. No, her voice was the easiest one to do of all the girls. So, if you don't want that to happen to you, you best obey those school regulations. 
Chunko's body had been impaled with a bunch of spears. An unbelievable amount of blood started pouring out of her body. Mighty spear. She also, Monokuma said there was just one spear. The mighty spear. It's the first time I've ever seen the moment someone's life came to an end. Nobody there could deny what they'd seen. Junko, who just until a second ago had been our friend, was dead. She died. She'd been murdered. In simple terms, it was the death of a human being. Hey, um... <laughs> then the wacky sound effects. It's not really all that shocking. She just died. That's all. Just, just it died. It's no more remarkable than the inevitable demise of the entire human race. It's just as natural as the eventual end of the world itself. <laughs> this isn't some superhero comic. So it's not like when you die, you didn't really die. This is reality! Why? Why'd you have to kill her? Didn't you say you would put her in prison or something? Hmm. I changed my mind. I knew. No, you've been wanting to kill this entire time. What? Kill this entire time? Don't be silly. You can't kill time. Or are you just being metaphorical? Are you saying I wanted to waste time this whole time? Come on, what do you take me for? I'm Manakuma! Well, now. Anyway, none of that matters right now. I have something I'd like to give you to help in your search for the Blackened. Ta -da! This little file is all the information I've gathered about the death in question. I'd like to call it it's the Manakuma file! <laughs> God damn it. I mean, naturally, you guys are expert at this kind of thing, so you can only do so much with a corpse. So instead, I've given, gathered up everything I know about the circumstances and cause of death. What's that? How do I know the cause of death, you ask? Because the surveillance cameras picked up the whole thing. I got to see it all go down. So you know who killed Sayaka? <laughs> of course I do. If I didn't, I couldn't possibly pass a fair and accurate judgment during the trial, now could I? Correct. That's a good point. The judge has to be able to make the proper decision. That's somehow comforting. Well? Now then, put your full effort behind your investigation. After all, you don't have any choice but to give it your best shot. But seriously, you don't have a choice. Okay. So we'll meet up for the class trial in a little while! And with that, Monokuma disappeared once again. He left us stunned and confused. He left us at a total loss. He left us with Junko's dead body growing colder right in front of us. And for who knows how long, nobody said a word. The fact that Siaka and Junko were dead was a huge shock, of course. But there's more to it than that. It was also the idea that one of us had actually murdered someone. And that if we didn't find out who it was, we would all die here. We found ourselves in a situation where we couldn't help but look at each other with open suspicion. It was the worst situation imaginable. And yet, even in such a perversely terrible situation, she didn't show the slightest hint that it had gotten to her. Hey. Now's not the time to wall in your depression. The worst thing we can do right now is lose all faith in each other. That would lead to the same disastrous result of having total faith in everyone else. What? Huh? In other words. Cooperation is absolutely key at this point. Who you decide to trust or not trust is, of course, up to you. Continuing to think about it and talk about the deceased certainly isn't going to help anything. Saying stuff like that, it's just... How many times have I told you? Anyone who can't adapt will die. This is the only thing awaiting those who are unable to adapt. If that happens, you only have yourself to blame. What an awful thing to say, especially after what happened. Just a second. Right now, exposing the killer is the most important thing. Because if we don't, we're all going to die here. <laughs> She's right. We need to begin our search right away. Of course. Either way, we can't run him from the situation, so we have no choice but to move forward. What the heck? We just have to do it, I guess. What other choice do we have? <laughs> no way in hell I'm letting someone kill me. All right, damn it, let's do this. We just have to do it. Everyone kept repeating the sentiment. They're using it just like a mantra to give themselves strength. But they're right. We just have to do this. No matter how much we don't want to, we have no choice. If that's what it takes to survive, then that's what we have to do. On top of that, there's something I needed to find out. I had to know why Sayaka had to die. 
why she had to be the one. I'm terrified to find out, but still, I have to know. Otherwise, I knew I'd never be able to accept your death, which is why I didn't have any choice. I have to do this. Hey. Before we start searching for Yasuaka's killer, we need to decide what to do about securing the crime scene. Hmm. What do you mean? You're thinking of putting someone on guard duty so no one can disturb the area, aren't you? After all, if the culprit decides to destroy the evidence, we're pretty much screwed. Hey. In that case, I don't mind doing it. I don't like having to think anyway. I'll let you guys figuring out who killed. I'll let you guys figure out who killed the chick. Okay, then we can let Mondo look after the scene. No, we just can't leave him there alone. What? what? Why the heck not? Stop Isn't it obvious? If you were the culprit, it was the first thing you would do. By volunteering for guard duty, you're in a position to destroy all the evidence you want. Yeah. What? Fuck you. So then. Fine then. I'll stay there on guard duty at all. That way, there's no problem. Two-player co-op base defense with the two of them. With their stats, they're totally OP. Since we won't be able to help investigate, we're putting our faith in the rest of you. I'm still pretty feaked out, but I'll try. Is this really happening? Screw that piece of shit bear. Uh... I gently place my hand on her body. I touch her wrist for a pulse, like they do in movies and stuff, but she really is dead. There wasn't anything else to say. She was gone. I don't even bother to check. After those injuries and losing that much blood, frankly, I'd be shocked if she did survive something like that. Yeah. Huh? Hold on. Just wait a second. She's dead? Then that means everything that's happened so far is real? It's not a joke or whatever? It's really real? Pretty much, yeah. What's your problem? Just now accepting that? Alright, let's... Just a sec. Hold on, huh? Before we begin the investigation, is there something else we need to discuss? Anyway. We're going to find out who the killer is, because if we don't, we're all going to die here. Um... Consciousness has crashed. Restarting now. Please wait a moment. She must be so shocked she can't even open her mouth to talk. What should I Someone do? got right in front of us. They... <clears throat> Come on! Okay, uh, let's see. There we go. Alright, here we go. We can't run away from this situation. What the heck? I hate this, but we still don't have a choice. We have to figure out who did it. Or else we're all dead. If we find out who did it, not only that person dies, but if we get it wrong, then the rest of us face execution! Let's see, uh... Hmm. We need to hurry up and figure out who the culprit is. Are you... Any... Right, hold Just... on, hold on, huh? See, is that all... Is that everyone to talk to? Hold on. Let's see. Is there someone I haven't talked to yet? obvious and very unusual. Go ahead, take a look. Notice anything interesting about where Sayaka died? She died in Makoto's dorm. What? She's right. Then could it be? All at once, everyone's gaze turned to me. Hold on a second. You've got it all wrong. For just one night, I traded rooms with her. I did it because she was afraid. You expect us to believe that? Just tell us the truth. I looked at everyone's eyes and had done a complete 180 from just a few minutes earlier. The feeling of suspicion and fear returned. In other words, you think I did it? Are we all done talking? We need to begin our investigation soon. At this point, we should split up. We need to get to the bottom of this and find out who killed Siaka. We'll have to collect clues from a form of foundation, then construct an argument and come to, to come to a final conclusion. So, if we get this wrong, we'll just really say any more. Be... I'd rather you didn't. No. Goodbye. Everyone pray for good luck. Goodbye. I'll be going. Okay, so everyone leaves. Yo. 
In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, hey, we're fucking out of here. Peace. Deuces. Oh, uh, yas, queen. Alright. Alright, out of curiosity, how much... Okay, so it seems like like I've broken this down into three parts. So, like, there's a first half of talking and shit, and then somebody died. So how long, like, would the, the last little bit take? Because if it's more than an hour, I might just want to save it for next time. Okay, so we're all going to investigate the murder. No, it wasn't me. We're going to investigate a crime scene, then some Phoenix Wright bullshit is going to happen. We'll see how that one takes. All it takes is one glimpse and I black out. Whatever, I don't think anyone was expecting much from you anyway. Alright, I guess I better get going. I love his frumpy face. Wait, don't go yet. You have to hear me out. But it was pointless. Everyone had already left. And their parting looks at me had been still filled with blah. They're still suspicious. And does everyone really think I'm the killer? How did it turn out like this? Seriously, they've got it all wrong. Why did they have to suspect me? I have to do something. It depends on you. There's plenty of base attorney bullshit left. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, everyone will... Execution is... Execution. Execution. Yeah. Electric chair. <laughs> Poison gas. <laughs> Torn apart like a paper plane in a hurricane. Okay, that is some pretty good wordplay. Yeah, I mean, because if it's like, because if like the whole, you know, the if the class trial and stuff is only going to take about an hour or so, I can probably power through it. If not, I might want to put this off until next time just because it's like midnight. Uh, I'll have to just find out who really did it, who really killed Sayaka. Investigate. Okay. The victim was Sayaka Maizono. The time of death is estimated to be around 1.30 a.m. The body was discovered in Makoto's room in the dormitory. All evidence suggests that death took place in the bathroom. The cause of death was a stab wound to the abdomen. There was also an injury to her right wrist. Specifically, the wrist appears to have suffered a fracture. We have no choice but to push forward if we want to find out what happened. Somehow, I have to find out the truth so that we can all survive. I think just for dramatic purposes, I'm going to end it here. Maybe start a little earlier next time. And for Sayaka, I have to find out how she was killed. Monokuma file number one has been added to the truth bullet section of your book. Yeah. So I'm probably going to save all that Ace Attorney bullshit for the next episode. Because again, I'm still trying to like figure out the rhythm to this game. Uh, so the truth bullet section... All right. So next week on Friday Night Mysteries... Yes, I'm aware it's Saturday, but... I had bullshit to do on Friday and yeah. So uh, yeah, Friday night mysteries on Saturday night. Hopefully next time we can actually do it on a Friday this time, but next time is when we're going to investigate Sayaka's death and hopefully come to a conclusion. We've got crazy bear. We've got truth bullets. We've got plenty of stuff to consider until next time, which is why I'm going to save so that we don't lose our progress. There's been a lot going on here. And yeah, so Danganronpa, uh, the chapter one's going to be taking us a while, but hey, that, that just means more mysteries for us to savor. And of course, I'll leave you with this fucking banger of a track. I'm definitely going to like cover this at some point and mash it up with Tank from Cowboy Bebop. It's such a banger. Banana now. Do 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 do